Uh, I am not alone. Ronnie's in the building. What's good? How are you doing? <laughs> I am large and in charge. I don't know what it is. I think it's because we do this rewatch series. This rewatch series is amazing because, yes, it is reality TV, but it's basically Total Divas is like watching performers who are badass. Mm -hmm. They're tenacious as can be. And they also show their lives, too. So, like, you feel very related to them. And now that this is our fifth episode of doing this watch along, I've never seen the series until now. You have. I'm hyped, TK. Let's get busy. Uh, today's fun because this is season one, episode five. So I fully have favorite characters. I'm, you know, casting judgments. I'm side eyeing some of the uh -oh. cast. <laughs> uh -oh, uh -oh. But yeah, let's get into it. So this is going to be season one, episode five. Mm hmm. Bye. Okay, <laughs> we have something to look forward to. There it is. So, what'd you think of the episode? It was a great. It was a great episode. Like I said, it feels like the, like I'm watching it for the first time. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it in a while. In a, while. Um, a lot of things to unpack, but you know, I feel like we can unpack it uh, next week. And then also, too, it's really great the tie-in that. Um, you know, we had Total Divas, but then Bianca Belair and uh, Montez just um, announced their reality show coming out February 2nd. So oh, right. really, really cool. Um, you know, we had some overlap. So I'm looking forward to seeing how they produce then and now. It feels like this. Uh, I think that's on Hulu, right? That one. Mm -hmm. OK. I, and uh, the, the format works. You know what I mean? Like you have uh, the, you, the, uh, the ambition of a creative career. And personal stories, I think it's wonderful. Um, out of all those three stories, which one related to you the most? Oh, that's a good question. Um, wow. I mean, they all individually, <laughs> I mean, I'm definitely a proponent of, um, you know, definitely get it. Even though you might not agree with your parents on both sides with Maddie and Nikki, it's just like we take for granted that they're always going to be there. So that's always something that um i i'm aware of but then you know you it's kind of like you either choose to accept people for who they are or you kind of move on so yeah um and you, it's because people don't change people change when they want to change i think that's right. the overall thing and even with with um trinity and arian it's just kind of like there's something under there's something underneath that it wasn't just the go-kart stuff but mm -hmm. again like the era we weren't really talking about like pseudo therapy and all this stuff so you know it's just you know most people think it's like what well, it is what you see but there's so much underlining things that people are going through and people are you know subconsciously dealing with so that's like a yeah. lot of it's there so it's like interesting to look back at it now and see it and then also knowing where they are all like now look right, at right. that yeah because they are. this is what 10 years ago yeah over 10 years ago um Regarding and real quick, we'll, we'll wrap up here and get excited for our next episode next next week. Um, I did think that was powerful. I mean, for one, yes, the Ariane and Trinity was the funnest part of the show, uh, right. and it was fun to see Natty sort of go through it and celebrate her birthday and all these things. But yeah, the the father situation was so interesting to me because you know how you know that siblings react different to a same situation. Mm -hmm. It was kind of not odd, I guess twins don't like they didn't have the same take which it's like right. you would think maybe they would just not not because twins are exactly the same but same age because like you know she kept mentioning it was i was 15 years old this is when i needed you know right. uh, a parental father figure and then the takeaway that i got too and this is we we should all be hip to this it felt like i mean she of course missed her grandfather but sometimes right. i wonder and i wonder if i do this too we could transfer the energy <laughs> of the pain so it goes away by putting right. it into something else. And I felt like when she said, like, this got me, when she said, oh, yeah. And then I always expected him to walk me down the aisle. And now that he's not around, now I'm confronted with my real feelings of you. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. we ain't got enough time, TK, to do the therapy on how real that was, you know. So oh, I appreciate yeah, these women. Daddy issues and mommy issues and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and as far as the girls, this is my last thought, and we'll we'll end the show here. 
Um, it's, it's, it's that whole thing. You want to do it alone. You want to get all the glitz and glamor, you know, and the accolades and, and you can do it, but there is nothing in this journey of whatever creative endeavor or even schooling or, or whatever is your thing, um, mm -hmm. where you're trying to ad advance and, and enhance yourself doing it alone. Ain't it sometimes, you know what I mean? And I think what was also cool is it makes me think about like, you know, in terms of Twitch and podcasting and stuff, sometimes a teammate is good because all the things you bring, your partner might bring the other side. And right. it's just, it was really beautiful to see. Obviously you felt like it's going to be cool between the two of them, but I definitely felt like, oh damn, I hope they don't, you know, separate. <laughs> Cause I like yeah. them together, you know? I mean, and, but you know, and then fast forward to now, Trin Trinity is uh, um, a champion. So mm -hmm. it's just kind of like, you know, it's so crazy. It's again, it's one of those things that often I kind of sometimes, but I kind of don't. It's like you want to look back, you want to have like the people who do these reality shows and, you know, barring, you know, nothing too outlandish and crazy, you know, passes. It's like you have, you can look back at all of this stuff. It's like a, mm -hmm. a, a visual, um, visual photo album. So, right. um, for them, but it is time for us to, uh, Take a step away until next week. <laughs> so where can everybody find you? Uh, hit me up, randomlyronniejr.com. Uh, all the Instagram, Twitter, and all that stuff is at randomlyrj. So yeah, check it out. There it is. And you can find me everywhere at TK Trinidad. You can follow us on everything at www.talkpod.com. Thank you guys so much for watching Women's Wrestling Talk, the number one <laughs> women's wrestling show on the planet. Ciao, y'all.